Hey Leo, welcome guys. I hope you had an awesome week and thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're going to use the Wisdom Oracle cards today and we'll see what tidbits of advice the universe and spirit has for you today. And I got one that went sideways. So let's see what we got. So we have no place like home. So there might be something going on uh, in your home life. Maybe you're looking to change your home situation or just something that you're dealing with. I also have building blocks. So building for the future, maybe you're building for a new home or building a new home or looking to buy a new home. I also have Yang. Yang speaks of a need for action. This is a time uh, when you can actually take action to go ahead and get whatever this goal is, this thing that you're building for. I have a never ending story. So the never ending story speaks of a need to recognize that our lives are like long storybooks. They're full of chapters, so full of endings, but also full of beginnings as well. So maybe you've had a few setbacks uh, and, and it's sort of shaking, shaking you a little bit. You're feeling a little bit of doubt here, guys. I also have orphaned. So orphan speaks of feeling alone, sort of looking for direction in life. I feel like it definitely ties into this never ending story. So maybe you've had a setback here, uh, sort of got you feeling got you feeling down, got you feeling like you're doubting yourself. But I feel like now is the time to act. I feel nothing but positivity with this Yang card. So I feel like whatever you're building towards, there's some sort of opportunity they're waiting for you to take it. I have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups speaks to the past. So I feel like you're moving on from the past, uh, putting something in the past, moving forward, something is coming to an end. But that also means that something new can begin for you guys. I have the seven of pentacles, which represents an abundant harvest, not just the abundance of the harvest, but of the groundwork that has to get put in to attain that abundant harvest. Uh, so definitely, I feel like you've been building for that. Uh, and now I feel like you are going to attain it. So whatever this was, whatever this setback is, this doesn't totally screw you guys. Uh, it just might change your path some. And I feel like you're still going to attain what you're looking for. The Eight of Swords represents feeling trapped or stuck in negative thoughts or emotions, so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. Um, I feel like it's the way that you're feeling and the way that you're thinking, uh, whatever this is uh, that sort of came to an end, this path, this setback that you're having is really knocked you on your ass uh, and caused you to have a lot of self-doubt here, guys. I have the King of Wands as well. So the King of Wands speaks of passion, ambition, and drive. So this might speak of this thing that you're working for and, and needing to renew that passion and renew that drive and not letting go of that goal. I also have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, she can speak of, of success, of wealth. Uh, she's very generous and very kind and caring. So this might come into play. There might be somebody in your life who's going to help you out. Or you might be helping somebody else who, who's going through this rough, shitty time, guys. I also have the Chariot card. The Chariot card represents positive movement forward. So it's definitely encouragement from the universe to be able to keep moving forward and not let whatever this is break you. Because this ending is just the beginning of a brand new chapter. It's just a little deviation, just something you have to navigate. You can still have what you want in life. This is not the be all end all. I also have the Nine of Swords, which is the progression of the Eight of Swords, the feeling trapped and stuck. Uh, it can also speak to depression and anxiety. So I really feel like this is this is definitely knocked you on your ass. I'm going to give you a closer look at this orphan card because I feel like this basically sums it up. How miserable that person looks, how dark things feel, and how alone this person feels. I have the King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles is a lot like the Queen. He speaks of wealth. He speaks of success. I feel like I, I feel like he's speaking to what you're going to find. So by being able to move forward, by being able to move on. Um, and keep persevering, finding that drive again. I feel like you are going to get to that King of Pentacles. You are going to be able to achieve that thing that it is that you're working for. That, and I believe it's the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is abundance in the home life. So it represents your goal. It represents the thing that you've been building and working towards. And I do feel like you're going to attain it. I feel like this path isn't quite what you thought it was going to be. And definitely whatever this setback is, fucking sucks, guys. Um... But I see that you're going to be able to move forward. You're going to be able to find something new here. The Sun card. The Sun card is a good omen card. It represents positive things manifesting for you. Uh, when I see it, I get pulled to that Queen of Pentacles. So there might be somebody in your life, a family member, a friend, someone who's going to help you to attain this. I also have the Ten of Wands, which represents feeling overwhelmed or overburdened. Uh, so definitely 
reach out to somebody don't let yourself feel alone don't isolate yourself reach out to those who care about you to help support you on your journey the three of swords does represent separation as well so i feel like it's speaking to feeling separated from somebody and it might be somebody from your past so maybe it is a family member here or a very good friend who you haven't spoken to in a while but I feel like that's going to play a big part in you being able to sort of renew that passion, recharge your batteries and come out of this, this emotional funk that's weighing so freaking heavy on you. The Ace of Pentacles represents new beginnings. This is a new beginning. There is an opportunity out there waiting for you to take it. And the Fool card represents a new lease on life, a new outlook, seeing things in a new light. So I feel like this person... And because there is a Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles is here, I feel like this is the person who's going to help you to find this new perspective uh, and recharge your journey uh, to be able to find the success that you are after. Alrighty, guys, that is what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Please feel free to comment. I do love hearing from you. And remember, uh, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I will throw your name in the pot. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.